Now, all this week we are, of course, building up to the World Super Bantamweight title unification fight between uh, Scott Frampton, uh, Carl Frampton even, what am I saying? And Scott <laughs> Quigg, my goodness, which is, of course, live on Sky Sports box office at the end of this month. Spencer Oliver uh, is here to look ahead to this one for us. And Spencer, this is what been four years yeah. in the making. You certainly know about this division. I do. How much are you looking forward to this one? Do you know what? I can't wait for this one. Like you said, um, just echoing what you said, four years we've been waiting for this one. It's been building. I thought the fight would have been made before this. It hasn't, mm. and, they've, and they've, done it, they've done it right. They've both gone on to win world titles, and now we've got a unification belt. And it's one of those contests that you, what way do you go? You know, I mean, I started off quite heavily with Frampton, then I went quick, then I've gone back to Frampton <laughs> again. It really is one of those 50-50 fights. I know you hear it so much that, you know, these fights are so even, but... Both of these guys, anyone could win this one, and, and it's going to be one of the best fights I think we've seen for a while. Yeah, oh, well, Barry McGregor will like the fact that you're uh, rooting for his man. He's been saying it's, what, 30 mm. years uh, yeah. in the making. What do you think of that? Well, listen, I, 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 I think that, yeah, it's one of those fights that I think that everybody's been waiting to see, everyone's been wanting to see. They've both gone on to win the world titles, as I said. Frampton didn't look so good, showed some vulnerabilities last time out when he boxed, um, which made the fight more even on my card than I thought. Quig looked brilliant last time out. For me, I'm still leaning towards Frampton. I was speaking to him a couple of weeks ago, actually, and, mm. and both are, are so supremely confident on the fight, and they both believe so much that they're going to win that, you know, when they go out there, they're going to give it their all. Yeah, I mean, we both we have both fighters in here. They certainly were both very yeah. confident. Um, how strong is this division, and where do you think these fighters rank? Well, I think that these two are definitely up there. I think Rigondo is... is probably the best pound for pound, one of the best pound for pound fighters in the, in the world. And there's a guy that either one of these two, these two could box, you know, if they go on and win this fight. But Rigondo may be number one with Quig and Frampton, you know, with two and three, really. Um, yeah, they're right at the top, right at the top. And I think Rigondo's looking to go uh, move up to the featherweight division. So these guys, you know, wow. really are the best in the, in the division and moving up the pound for pound rankings as well. Mm, you, you seem to be sort of erring perhaps towards Frampton at the moment. What does at Quig moment, have to do? to turn that around to Well, Quig's you. dangerous, and he's proved last time out against Martinez. We saw him, you know, uh, taking Martinez apart in a fight that we thought was going to be quite close as well. Martinez, very strong guy, and he's proved that he can, he's got dynamite in either hand as well. So, and Frampton, we saw the vulnerabilities last time. So, you know, the, it only takes Quig just to land one shot, and he won't let him off the hook. You know, both guys are extremely confident, extremely experienced. So, I mean, one shot could turn this around in either man's favour. Mm. Uh, with just, what, a few weeks to go now, what do you expect both fighters to be doing and... And what can we look forward to in that build-up? Well, well, the training will be intense right now, really intense. They'll be doing a lot of sparring, working on a lot of tactics. You know, there's, uh, both guys have got, have got a great camp behind them, Shane McGuigan in Frampton's corner, you know, and, and, and he, he brings a lot to the table, as does um, Joe Gallagher as well, who's working with Scott Quigg. So we've got top trainers there as well working on tactics. So, mm. you know, it's all going to be about who gets the tactics right on the night. Yeah, you mentioned Joe Gallagher. We know a lot about him. We also yeah. know a lot about uh, Shane McGuigan, yeah. but... Would this be his biggest fight, do you think, as a trainer? For McGuigan, yeah, I yeah. think so. You know, he's doing really well at the moment. He's got David Hay in the camp now as well, George Groves. So the stable's growing, success breeds success. There'll be a lot of confidence. As I said, I was down there a couple of weeks ago and they're really buzzing for the fight. And Shane seems to be doing really well at the moment. And Joe Gallagher, obviously, is established as one of the best trainers in the world at the moment. So, you know, it's all going to be tactics. It's not about what the guys do in the ring. It's about what goes on and getting the tactics right on the outside as well. Uh, and finally, you, you mentioned that you're thinking it's Brampton at the moment for you. At the moment. How is that fight going to pan out for Frampton to win it then? Well, I think, it's, again, it's just tactical. It's all about, you know, it's, gonna, it's a chess match in there. You know, but a lot of people think that boxing's just two guys that go in there punching each other. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. You've got to get the tactics right. And I think one guy makes a mistake and the other guy's going to pay in a fight and could swing in their favour. But for me, Quig carries, carries a good, good right hand, but Frampton's just got to use the tactics right. It's all about the tactics that they bring to the table on the night. Mm, we are very much looking forward to it. Uh, thank you very much, thank uh, Spencer, you, Nelly. for joining us. Uh, it really is hotly anticipated, uh, this fight, and uh, you'll be able to see it, of course, on Sky Sports Box Office on February the 27th.